I just received my new box today, probably about three or four hours ago, so I'm just now setting it up. But it's a Rock Chip RK3388 uh, CPU or uh, SOC system on a chip. Uh, it's called Tronsmart Orion R68. Uh, and it, again, it's a Rock Chip RK3388 CPU. And here's the uh, uh, a live TV. Now I'm getting my TV guide using my $35 Android stick uh, with uh, with uh, code with uh, Open ELEC replacing uh, Android and use a TV head end as my server for the back end to give me my uh, DVR and it works very well. I've got two HD home run tuners which gives me a total of four tuners so I can uh, four, uh, watch four or record four different channels at the same time. Uh, it works very well. Uh, the video portion is extremely good. The audio, they have a problem with the audio, it will not do surround sound. So at this point in time, they're, of course it's brand new yet, they still got to work on the uh, firmware. But it does not pass through the Adobe Digital, which is a bummer. But the uh, video is just outstanding. And I do have quite a few channels. Let's see what that one looks like. Okay, now one thing I want to show you, I've got the... Uh, uh, Closed captioning turned off. I like closed captioning. At my age, you can't hear very well, so the closed captioning works very good for me. Uh, the uh, channel changing is very quick. I was told maybe it was a couple. The uh, HD channels, it plays them very well. There's no, and I've checked it, there's no drops. No skip frames, nothing. It's steady as a rock. The quality, the video quality is outstanding. And I have quite a few of these Android boxes. And this is probably one of my better ones. Now I cannot leave it on one channel too long or I get into trouble. Go to apartments.com. Tell us about your apartment and you could win free. As you can see, there's no drop or skip frames. This one is uh, running at 9 point, now 12.2 megabits per second. Uh, so it is an HD stream. Again, no, uh, no skips or drop frames at all. It's excellent. It's got a great video picture. Bad company. Channel switching again is fairly fast. Now, one other thing that, uh, oh, well, I'm using the uh, uh, remote that came with the box. It's an excellent remote. It's an IR, IR remote, and most of the remotes that comes with these boxes are not very good. This one is excellent. It is very good. Now, if I go over here to videos, video add-ons, I have the HD Home Run, which is their a DVR, which they're working on now. So if I go to channel up, there's my guide. And the worst teeth. Every seven prior to purchase. Have you or a loved one been diagnosed with ovarian cancer after regular use of Johnson's baby powder? But that's or the guy. According to studies, the use of talcum powder for feminine high. Again, this is HD, playing an excellent video quality. But again, I cannot get the surround sound coming through my EV receiver. But I assume in a month or two they will have the one already. This one's pretty now, bland. She lays around, doesn't meow much. Now here is my DVR. We call her Amy. These are my recordings. This last one gets special attention. She is the smallest but she's got potential. I mean look at those nipples. 
This is the TV guide. This is how, if you want to record it, you record it from here. A lot of people are complaining because they like the uh, uh, spreadsheet type uh, uh, TV guide with the horizontal lines and the <laughs> vertical lines. I call it the uh, Excel spreadsheet uh, guide. But anyway, this is their, uh, what they're using as a guide, which actually is pretty good for me because I'm not a TV watcher. And this one actually gives me a, visio, uh, uh, a video, uh, visual of what's out there. Otherwise, I wouldn't even know. So, I personally like this format. And then here's the recording rules. And when you click on one that you want to record, it creates a recording rule. Uh, again, this is still an alpha and beta program. So, we have uh, uh, more to go. But anyway, I just wanted to show you this. Um, Again, this is a, a this is a new box that they've just came out with. Uh, and I'm using their remote. Again, it's a 5.1, 5.1.1 uh, Android version. And it was built in July the 20th of this year. So it's a fairly new uh, firmware. But anyway, I just wanted to give you an overview of the new box and what it's capable of. But again, the video, uh, video portion is outstanding. The audio portion, they have to work on that because they do not have the uh, Dolby Digital pass-through working on it, which I insist on having for my, if I'm gonna use it as a main device on my home theater system. So anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. Thank you.